I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 Pro here. And in today's video, I'll be covering five things that you can try in an attempt to fix your Bluetooth related troubles. This will work for the Pro model that I have here, as well as the base variant, the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus, the Redmi Note 13R, as well as all other devices in this series. Over the years, I've seen just about every single smartphone on the market have some sort of issue with Bluetooth. It may not happen immediately after buying the phone, but it seems that after some time, things within the software get jumbled up and that can cause issues like being unable to pair the Bluetooth headphones having the connection drop out when the earbuds are even right next to the phone, or a stuttering sound or glitchy audio coming from the Bluetooth speaker, or even just poor audio quality in general. So today, I want to go over many different troubleshooting steps that you should follow in an attempt to fix Redmi Note 13 Bluetooth connection problems. Now, the first thing that I must recommend is that you simply reboot the smartphone. I understand how simple this suggestion can sound, and I also know that you may have already rebooted the phone since you began having these Bluetooth-related problems. But please, bear with me. I promise that I have seen this simple suggestion help thousands of people, and it's so quick to try that you will hardly be wasting any time doing so. So go ahead and press and hold the power button on the side and then swipe down to the reboot option there. We're going to wait for the phone to load back into Android and then we're gonna try and use or try to pair your Bluetooth device again. This suggestion helps by clearing out most of the cached data that is stored on your phone, which can then help to fix issues that you've been having, again, with either connecting a Bluetooth device or simply playing back audio over a Bluetooth device. Now, if that did not work, the next thing that I recommend is trying to reset the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi module. This will erase all of the saved Bluetooth data on your phone, which can help to clear out any corrupt data that may be causing issues with your Redmi Note 13R. So we can do this by first opening up the settings application and then tapping on the more connectivity options right here toward the top. From here, we're gonna scroll down until you see the reset WLAN mobile networks and Bluetooth. So we're gonna tap that. And now we're going to look toward the bottom and tap on this reset settings button. It's going to ask you to confirm if this is exactly what you want to do. So we're going to tap on OK and let it reset mobile data, Bluetooth, and the other network settings. You will be briefly disconnected from your mobile network, but that will reconnect fairly quickly. It will also delete any saved Wi-Fi networks, so you'll need to manually reconnect to those as well. You'll then need to try and pair the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus with the Bluetooth headphones that you're having trouble with. Or you'll need to try playing something on your Bluetooth earbuds again to see if you're still having issues with audio playback. However, if that did not fix the trouble that you're having, then the next thing we're going to do is wipe the cache and app data from a couple of Bluetooth applications that control the service on your device. 
This is done by again opening up the settings application. Except this time we're going to scroll down until you find the apps menu. From here, we're going to tap on the three dot menu icon in the top right and then select show all apps as this will then reveal any system apps that are currently installed on your device. So we're going to begin scrolling through this list and first you're going to look for the application simply labeled Bluetooth. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to select the storage option up here at the top. Then again, look at the bottom of this page and you're going to see a button labeled clear data. Let's tap on that. And the first thing we're going to do is clear the cache for this application. So select that and then confirm. The next thing we're going to do is tap the clear all data button. And again, we're going to tap on OK to confirm. And you should see both the cached data as well as the user data wiped and reset to zero bytes. Then we're going to go back to our app list and then look for the application labeled Bluetooth extension. And we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to tap on that app. Then we're going to tap on storage. And then we're going to look toward the bottom and find that clear data button. So again, we're first going to clear the cache and then we're going to clear and delete all data. And just like before, both the cache as well as the user data should be wiped clean. This way, HyperOS is able to erase all of the data saved by both Bluetooth applications. With all of this done, we can then enable Bluetooth if it's disabled and try to pair your Bluetooth earbuds with the Redmi Note 13 4G. And then you'll want to check and see if you're still having the same Bluetooth related issues that you were having before. Now sadly, not everyone has been able to fix their Redmi Note 13 Bluetooth bugs with these suggestions. So in case there are any incompatibility issues at play, let's first enable developer mode. Now, if you're not familiar with what developer mode is or how to enable the hidden developer options menu, then I'll link to a dedicated guide in the video description below that will help you reveal the developer options menu from within the additional settings page on the settings application. That way, this video doesn't end up being longer than it needs to be. From here, you're going to want to scroll down until you find the networking section that you see right here. We're going to scroll down a little bit more and you should begin to start seeing Bluetooth related features here. So we're going to look for the first one that can be changed. And right here we have the disable Bluetooth A to DP hardware offload. So to test this, we're going to enable that. And then we're going to restart the device as instructed. When the Redmi Note 13 Pro boots back up, you're then going to want to test your Bluetooth device and see if that fixes anything. If it doesn't, then we're going to come back to the developer options page and disable that so that it's back to how it was. Then we're going to move on to the next one. Here we have Bluetooth AVRCP version, which by default on this phone is set to 1.5. So to test the other versions, we're going to change this to version 1.3. Then we're going to try to pair that Bluetooth device again and play back any audio to see if we're still having the same issues. If that fixed it, then we can leave this on version 1.3. However, if it did not, then we're going to come back here and we're going to change this to 1.4 and do the test again. Again, if it fixes it, 
we're going to leave it on this version and use our phone like normal. However, if it did not fix it, we're going to come back here, change this to version 1.6, and so on. We're going to do this for all of the Bluetooth related options here. So we would then move on to the Bluetooth map version and see if changing those helped fix anything. And if that fails to fix anything, then we come back here and we may be able to resolve the issue by changing the Bluetooth audio codec. So instead of keeping this on system preference default, we'll change this to SBC and then try our Bluetooth device again. If it worked, we'll leave it on SBC, but if it didn't, we'll come back here and change it to AAC, or we'll change it to Qualcomm APTX or APTX HD. We'll go through this list and try them all just in case changing the audio codec ends up fixing this issue. I would do the same thing for the audio sample rate, the Bluetooth audio bits per sample, and all of these other options here that are related to Bluetooth, and the fix may be tucked away in one of these options. So you'll need to try them one at a time to see if you can find the feature that is compatible with your Bluetooth earbuds. There are times when the underlying issue is actually within the Android file system and resetting everything is a quick way to bring the file system back to its default state. I've already published a full dedicated video showing a handful of ways that this can be done. So again, in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll have that linked in the video description below. I hope this is able to help everyone who has been frustrated with using Bluetooth with their Redmi Note 13 series phone. However, if you're still having trouble, then please use the comment section below to let me know. It will also help to know which version of HyperOS that you currently have installed, as well as which Bluetooth device that you're having trouble with. I've seen certain smartphones just have incompatibility issues with certain Bluetooth brands. So having all of that information in one place could help to zero in on which brands to avoid in the future. And please don't forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel as that really helps me out.